Hezbollah has attacked Israel last night with dozens of rockets while Iran readies over 100 cruise missiles for a coordinated attack on Israel. Trump asks Arizona to immediately unwind their overly aggressive abortion ruling. Biden makes getting oil permits 1,500% more expensive while telling the American people he's doing everything he can to lower their bills. Plus, France is caught in a huge hypocritical lie for which the United States should punish them. But mark my words, Joe Biden will do absolutely nothing. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out. So thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Former President Donald Trump is now pushing for lawmakers in Arizona to immediately reverse the reestablished abortion law from 1864, which makes the practice a felony. Trump stated the Supreme Court in Arizona went too far on their abortion ruling, enacting and approving an inappropriate law from 1864. So now the governor and the Arizona legislator must use heart, common sense, and act immediately to remedy what has happened. Biden's campaign spokesman, Serafina Chitika, bashed Trump's response by claiming he's solely responsible for Arizona's abortion decision. She stated Arizona's abortion ban and every abortion ban across the country is the direct result of Donald Trump overturning Roe v. Wade. Nothing he says can undo the chaos and cruelty his actions have inflicted on women across America. While this may be a good talking point for Democrats, it's simply not true. Uh, Trump uh, basically just pushed for each state and their citizens in that state to make their own decision based on their own courts and their own laws. So uh, ultimately, he wanted it left up to the states. Now, the simple reality here is that Biden's campaign is doing everything in their power to distract from what's really going on. When people are blasted with emotional topics like abortion, they forget to think logically about other aspects of the world. For example, a new rule was just finalized, which makes it more expensive for uh, companies to drill oil and gas on federal land. In simple terms, renting that land and bidding up the land has just jumped up significantly. This rule was passed while gas prices are already on, on the rise. Now, to give some context, a permit that Biden used to allow to be sold on federal land for $10,000 now costs $150,000. That's a 15x increase on permit fees. So Biden wants women to have the right to kill their unwanted babies and pregnancies that have gone wrong. But he also wants to make gas more expensive and make the United States more dependent on partners in the Middle East. Now, in regards to the topic of inflation, which can't be covered up because people feel it in their wallets when they buy things, when they grocery shop, when they fill up their cars, the White House is just making dumb excuses to cover for their bad decisions. Remember how Biden recently announced that he plans on forgiving a massive amount of student loan debt? Well, according to the White House, burdening taxpayers is a great way to save families money. White House economic advisor Heather Bushley stated, the president has been focused on using all the tools that he has at his disposal to make sure that he lowers costs for families. He's lowering the cost of student debt for all those borrowers. He made a big announcement earlier this week, and it's going to affect 30 million borrowers across the country. So uh, in an attempt to buy the vote of 30 million Americans, which is uh, roughly more than one third of all the votes that he got in 2020, he's saying, I'm willing to shift the burden of these people over on to the other uh, Americans that have no student loan debt. So he's basically using our tax money from the Treasury. So the, the Supreme Court ruled that this is illegal and outside of Biden's power and authority, but he's doing it anyway. 
He's saying 30 million people will have their bills lowered by my shifting of that money over to taxpayers, which he wants uh, to then raise taxes on people. And you better believe that if he gets four more years, he's absolutely going to raise taxes. This is yet another example of the government stealing your money in the form of taxation in order to give it to other people. So when I say that the government steals your money in the form of taxation, I'm not lying. This is a perfect example of what, uh, what they are doing. Now, unfortunately, Biden's tactics will work if he can get people to vote before they know the truth on the issues. The one person who knows this best is Donald Trump. After the date for the presidential, uh, after dates of the presidential schedule for late 2024 were announced, Trump's campaign stated, voting is beginning earlier and earlier. And as we saw in 2020, tens of millions of Americans had already voted by the first debate. Now think about that. The, before a debate even happened, before people knew what Biden stood for, before people knew what Trump stood for, before people knew that Biden was lying and that the, the CIA was covering up the Hunter Biden laptop story, tens of millions of Americans had already voted for Biden. So before any of the truth or anything about his dementia started coming out, his health issues started coming out, they had already voted. They did the same thing in Pennsylvania with uh, Fetterman, who had a stroke and could barely talk. They got all of those mail-in ballots before he even did a single debate. Now, as many of you know, Trump and House Speaker Mike Johnson have a very good working relationship. And with the recent drama going on in the House between Johnson and Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, his dynamic with Trump is hurting Greene's influence. During an interview with CNN, Democrat Representative Jared Moskowitz stated, she doesn't have the votes to remove the speaker. She doesn't have the votes to rename a post office. Now, to be fair, I like Marjorie Taylor Greene, but uh, by upsetting uh, the apple cart over and over again, Republicans have lost their majority nearly. And you're seeing them vote for Ukraine money over border money and for Democrat policies over Republican policies. So Moskowitz is right. She is loud and I like her, but she is systematically wearing down the majority in the House. But let me know in the chat, what do you think? Do you like Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, and whether you do or don't, are her moves hurting the Republican Party in the long run? I, I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, now this is some, some scary news. The United States is readying themselves for Iran to attack Israel any day now, as tension continues to rise. Now, in anticipation for this attack, the U.S. Embassy stated, out of an abundance of cautious, caution, U.S. government employees and their family members are restricted from personal travel outside of the greater Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and Beersheba areas until further notice. Now, just a few hours ago, President Biden once again warned Iran not to attack Israel, stating, we are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will help defend Israel, and Iran will not succeed. When it comes to attacking Israel, Biden says, don't. Now, will they actually listen to him? Do they fear uh, Joe Biden and the United States military? I don't know. Uh, I think I think we are about to uh, find out. Okay. Some of you are saying she's good, but has, she has good intentions. Maybe he's blackmailed. She's just trying to do what she thinks is right. Okay. All right. Now listen to this. Uh, last night, Iran readied over 100 of their biggest attack missiles, their, their big cruise missiles. Uh, Russia announced that they will back Iran if this turns into a gre greater regional war. And Hezbollah out of Lebanon fired around 50 rockets last night in an attempt to drain Israel's Iron Dome, their, their defense missile system. So they're draining th those uh, defense missiles are hundreds of thousands of dollars each, and they only have a limited supply. 
And so what they're doing is they're, they're testing the system and they're also draining the system in order to set Iran up to have a successful attack. Now, the Pentagon has admitted that they are worried. Their worry is that Hezbollah will launch uh, a ground attack as well as a barrage of rockets in order to distract the Iron Dome. At the same time, Iran begins to fire off their 100 plus missiles from Tehran to hit different parts of Israel where the Iron Dome doesn't reach. So it would be a coordinated attack, right? So uh, uh, up here uh, in the north, they start attacking, they do a ground attack, and then all the other vulnerable parts of Israel, they start hitting with those huge intercontinental ballistic missiles. Um, so it's it's really crazy um, to, uh, to see what they're doing. Okay, now, um, early this morning, while Israel's defenses were on high alert, Iranian forces stormed a container ship in the Straits of Hermos and hijacked an Israel shipping container vessel with billions of dollars of goods. So this ship is lost. Israel is devastated. Businesses are out billions of dollars. And I do not have an update for you on the captured captain and the workers. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with them. Hopefully they will be okay. So I'll continue to keep you updated. Um, so basically this attack started with Hezbollah firing the rockets and Iran getting ready to hit vulnerable parts. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'll continue to keep you updated on this big story. Now, um, I haven't been reporting on the Ukraine Russia story as much, uh, only because it's depressing and I see it as a total humanitarian crisis. Uh, but Russia did successfully wipe out of one of Ukraine's largest electric grids. Uh, so I wanted to update you on that. Russia has successfully destroyed one of Kyiv's most powerful coal and gas power plants. While Ukraine is continuing to shoot down Russian drones, it simply does not have the manpower to keep up with all of the other attacks. With that being said, Ukraine just passed legislation that will allow them to draft more people into the military with advanced technology. Not only does the new law reportedly require men 18 to 60 to fight, it also requires those living outside of Ukraine to be forced back home so that they too can fight Vladimir Putin. Now, it really seems that Zelensky is willing to uh, kill everybody in Ukraine in order to beat Putin on behalf of NATO. Um, it, it's very unrealistic that Ukraine is going to win this war, and it's uh, nearly impossible that they are going to regain any of the uh, any of the uh, lost territory that Russia has taken. Now, as you know from watching my show, we live in a world of lies and deception, most of that coming from governments. Remember when I told you French President Emmanuel Macron threatened to send French armed services into Ukraine? Well, he didn't because he knew he couldn't beat Putin and didn't want those uh, lost lives on his hands. However, through forensic accounting, it was just discovered that France bought over 600 million euros worth of oil from Vladimir Putin in order to keep their energy prices down and uh, keep people from protesting against the government. So world leaders tell us Vladimir Putin is bad and that he is the next Hitler. Then they say they're going to destroy him and sanction him into the ground. But when they think we can't see the truth, they're secretly buying supplies, gold, oil, natural gas, from Vladimir Putin in order to make themselves look good to their own citizens. So why hasn't the United States of America called out France for buying oil from a sanctioned country? Because the U.S. government is full of liars and hypocrites. My friends, we live in the matrix. That is the reality. All right. That's my update for today. Uh, I want to remind you guys that you are amazing. Please give this video a like. Also hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in the community. 
I got to run off and get ready for another big interview. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video.